Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. I know it's been a while since my last video. I've purchased some cool stuff for like sealed boxes and singles, but they've been spread out uh, mainly because I've been investing in a, a few particular specific items. But this time of year, there's a lot of new releases. There's a lot of stuff coming out. Um, Pokemon always likes to, to crank out the, the new items right before Christmas time. But in this video, I'm going to show you some PSA returns. This is probably the largest um, one of the submissions that I got off of the special. It took a while to come back, but now it's here, and I'm pretty satisfied overall with the grades. I didn't get as many 10s as I wanted, but you know, whoever really does. So I'm going to start off with this first box. There's not a lot of duplicates in this video, so I, I'm going to show you a lot of different cards. I'm going to start off with Sky Ridge. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off with the Reverse Holographics. This is not a complete set of Reverse Holographics, but it was a lot of them that were uh, in a particular large purchase that I had back in June. And um, overall, I was, I was really satisfied with it. So here we've got a Gem Mint 10 for Arcanine. I don't think there were too many Gem Mint 10s, so I'm going to set some of the Gem Mint 10s in the background so it's not too bland. Beedrill got a 9, and maybe some of the fan favorites like Flareon pulled a 9. Got Fortress, a 9. Here we have Kabutops. Machamp. My wife spent the last few hours individually perfect sleeving each and every one of these, if, that, if you can use that as a verb. Put them on the back side. She does a great job. Got Mad Cargo. Of course, Magneton. There's another 10 on Nido Queen. Now, I still have my personal set of these. I, I'm torn between pulling it out of a binder to grade them or just leaving them in the binder. I know that they're in such great shape that I want to get them graded. However, I really enjoy looking at my collection in a binder. It's a lot easier too. You can get a lot of viewing on one page of cards. Sometimes it's nice to have everything PSA graded, but it's also expensive too. It's not a, exactly a cheap way to go. The Electrode and Kabuto. Try to Keep that glare off of there. I like the Persian. There's another 10. Cliffa. I would imagine this is a decently hard card to get in Gem Mint 10 just because of how little background texture there is and then the color itself. So I was happy that one of the few 10s that I did receive was this Cliffa. I would have loved to have the Eevee. And there were several 7s and 8s on these reverse hollows. Like this is a 7. You may not be able to see it in the picture, but if you hit it at the right angle, you can see why this was knocked down to a 7. At least I think anyways. Earlier I was hitting most of these in certain angles of light, and you can see the scratching. Same thing with like this EV. This is an 8. I'm trying to look through the camera lens right now, and I don't see a lot of damage is showing up. I think that's how I saw it when I sent it in. But earlier when I was looking more closely at these, they have these hairline scratches here and there. And I'm sure at PSA, they look at these cards a lot more, with a lot more intensity than we do sometimes when we're just trying to submit them. I don't know why, but I always like this artwork for Haunter. Kind of look like a uh, pupitar in the background there. This is Zapdos. I don't know why I mistake things some, sometimes like that. Got Hoot Hoot. Kakuna. Most of the Skyridge stuff is going to be set back into my personal collection. I'm showing it first just so that uh, I have a lot of that set out of the way. And then most of the EX series stuff, which I'm going to be showing later in this video, as long as my battery is looking strong, that, that will be available for purchase for anyone who is looking for it. 
there are lots of eights, nines, and tens pretty spread out through there. Of course, nines more than anything else. All it takes is one little nick. And if PSA sees it, it drops it from that ten. Right now, I'm hoping that PSA does some kind of special for bulk orders next month or the following month. I'm still stuck on this, what was it, 625 or 650 that we paid each for these cards just a few months back. And then now, they, of course, they increased their bulk price to 9 and there's no special. If they knocked off 50 cents or so, I'd probably jump on that pretty quickly. I have a lot of cards that I want to send in, as I'm sure many of you also do. Here we got Venomoth, Gem at 10, so, so far 5 out of probably at least 40 cards that I've maybe shown. Let's see what else we got. But I tell you, I would much rather PSA be strict and for the tens to, to hold their value then for them to become really loose and tens not really hold much stock because the values start plummeting and they're everywhere I was surprised at how expensive a friend ball was I, I think I sold just the non hollows like 15 bucks or something Looking back, you never know which cards are going to be we're going to get too expensive or real expensive. I mean, you, you can guess on some of them like Evolutions and Charizards, but then there's just certain cards that spike in value. Like uh, from Expedition, you got the Energy Switch Reverse Holographic card. Oracle, choose two cards from your deck. And shuffle the rest of your deck. Put the chosen cards on top of your deck in any order. I think that was the, the new Mallow, if I remember correctly. And there were a few crystals. We had a Golem, Mint 9, and Kabutops, near Mint, Mint 8. And again, I think these grades were very justified. Um, pretty much all of them. Next up, I did have some of the regular holographics graded. I think they did well. Got Alakazam with a mint nine. And I was looking at some of these. Some of the nines could very well, if I regrade them, pull a ten. Some of them, I think, are solid nines. It's hard for me to break out any nine whatsoever from a PSA case, just because all it takes is one. One little thing, and then it's really not a 10. And if you regrade it, then it's not a super strong 10. If it does achieve that grade, it's really for a monetary purpose, I would think, if you're, go if you're going to go that route. Because the card itself can only get damaged by removing it and then having it reset in again. Gengar, I like that one. I like the Gyarados, too. Most people have really... Uh, taking a liking to the Sky Ridge Hollows for a while there I mean you can get this stuff fairly cheap I mean it was never common but it wasn't hard to find just because the e-reader series weren't really that popular but now they're almost all fetching the highest prices that they ever have the Sky Ridge Hollows the reason the, the ungraded hollows are so expensive is because they're re relatively an easy grade to get that gem mint 10. It's not like a Wizards of the Coast hollow from a like base or jungle or fossil where they have a lot of print issues and it's really difficult to get that PSA 10 grade. A lot of times when you send in this stuff, you can get 50% turnaround rates for the PSA 10 cards. And in fact, I think that's what I, I pulled on the, the hollows that I sent in. It was like 12 for 24 PSA 10. So I didn't submit all of them, and I, there was only one crystal that I submitted, which it did not get the 10, but still did very well. 
I was happy with this one, the Vaporeon, I'm pulling a 10. And then the only crystal I submitted was a Celebi. I pulled the Mint 9. I'm going to pull some of these back so that they're not falling down. I'll leave some for the background. Or I may I have to take the top off, so I'm actually going to go ahead and pull these all back down and we'll make a new background with some of the other cards in the second box. The battery looks good. Good enough to keep going anyways. There are four boxes here in the background. You can only see two of them, I think. Now we're going to jump into the EX series, and any of these cards will be available for trade or for sale. I'm going to start listing them on eBay hopefully today. We've got the Chansey. I'm going to start off with Ruby and Sapphire. For the most part, these cards are kind of in, new, uh, or in set release order. They may not be exact because I kind of get confused after the first four or five EX sets, and then I know the last couple, but the middle ones I'm always a little muddled on. We got Electabuzz. Hit my jam. Of course, you, you never really like to see an eight, anything below a nine on, on a card unless you knew that it was kind of damaged. But these grades are fairly justified. It's hard on the, the Ruby and Sapphire cards to get really mint cards on like the silver border. They show up the scratches so easy. There's Ruby and Sapphire. Let's see, if, let's see what we got from Sandstorm. Got the Aerodactyl. These were a little harder to damage around the borders than Ruby and Sapphire. I like the e-reader look. I wish they had done more sets with it. But, I mean, it was really something that was kind of in and out fairly quickly because of the transition and all the things that went on with the video game. Wasn't the best time to be pulling out the e-reader. Maybe if they did it a few years, well I guess a few years later might have been completely out and made a little barcode on the side of a card. But I imagine if they did something like that nowadays, people would go nuts for it just for the retro value of it or nostalgic value of it. Here we have EX Dragon. I think this was, no, this wasn't the last, I think Team Magma, Team Aqua was the last set. So there is a Gem at 10 on the Golem. Got Kingdra, looks like that case could probably be twisted a little bit. Did have two Latias EXs, both pulled Mint 9. For the most part, these were in sets that have just been sitting back for 15 years. Jim at 10 on the Mag Cargo. Jim at 10 on the Mucky X. And once I saw them, I mean she didn't have multiples of everything, but she did have almost one of everything. And I felt like I needed to send all this stuff into PSA to preserve it. There's a Jim at 10 on the Secret Rare Charmander. We have the Charmeleon now. Mint 9, Mint 9. And then the Charizard did pull the Gym Mint 10. I had sent in, I'd probably say two dozen of these National Championship Charizards. And this, I mean, it was a high percentage of them that got Gym Mint 10s. I'll probably, probably never find that many of those National Championship Charizards again, let alone just a few mint copies in a collection. But it wasn't from this one, they're, they're, they're long gone now. <clears throat> Here we have Team Magma versus Team Aqua. We got a Blaziken. Did pull the 10 on Cradley EX. And these, this is Little EX, which if you guys know what that means, it means that they still have to evolve if they're not uh, basic Pokemon. 
your opponent still gets the two prize cards. These were the original. I think these were the original two prize card knockout cards. Got ten on the Suicune. Which I don't think pointed out, but like see right here, he has to evolve from Marsh Tomp Stage 2. Once they transition to the big EX in the Black and White series, they no longer have to evolve. You have Absol, Gem Mint 10, Jirachi, Gem Mint 10. Then it was kind of similar, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to do something similar with the, the GXs. Right now the GXs have to evolve. So they could do something special where they change like a GX and where they don't have to evolve. Got Groudon on EX. That pulled to 10. I haven't been making this background. Maybe I'll put some back here now. Got the Kyogre. Gem at 10. Metagross. Got Regice with that special foiling. Then we have Regirock, which did pull the 10. And we have Registeel, and that's 7. We've got Vileplume, 9. Wigglytuff with the 8. And then the Box Topper, Groudon, which pulled the 10. Next up, we have Team Rocket Returns. This was probably some of my better returns. You got the Articuno, which pulled a 9. Here we have Rocket's Intake EX, it did pull 10. Stick that one right there in the back. Got the Hitmonchan with a 9. Which, this may have been one of the only 8.5s I had. I don't really like that grade, I'd almost rather it be an 8. but. I guess there should be some value added to the .5. We have the Rockets Mewtwo EX. Then we have Moltres EX. Scissor EX. Scyther EX. <coughs> Did have a 10 on the Rocket Sneasel EX. One of the better grades. Rocket Snorlax EX pulled a 10. Post that one right there. Rocket Suicune EX. Zapdos also pulled the 10. I think these would be really fun packs to open. Got Charmeleon with the 8. This is the secret rare. And then we have Here Comes Team Rocket with a Mint 9. Great. Next up we have Fire Red and Leaf Green. Fable, Mint 9, Gyarados, Mint 9. Some of the first cards that I ever sent to PSA were Fire Red, Leaf Green, Mr. Mime with the 10. The Charizard I sent in come back as a 10. That along with a first edition base set Charizard and a, I think maybe it was Machamp that come back as PSA 10 and then the rest of the stuff come back 9 which is the other first edition base set hollows. Zapdos with the cool full Jim Mint 10. Next up we have EX Emerald. Altaria, Deoxys, Dusclops, Medicham, Milotic, got Raichu. Registeel, and then the box topper for that set, Farfetch'd. All those, I think, were Mint 9. Maybe there was a new Mint 8 in there. Next up, we have Delta Species. If I remember correctly, there were only a few of these that I sent in. It's got Flareon with a 5. It has, I think there was some kind of crease right there in the middle of the picture. Got Jolteon with an 8. Vaporeon with an 8. And then this is the first gold star of the video. We have Groudon with the mint 9. 
And then we have Kyogre Gold Star, Mint 9. Metagross Gold Star, Mint 9. So three Gold Stars right there. Next up, we have Deoxys. Crobat with a six. Most of these grades, <clears throat> I think I had discerned that they were lower, but I went ahead and sent them in anyways, just in case I decided I wanted to go with a collection of one of each of the EXs and start that. But I think I'm going to sell these and focus more on the Wizards of the Coast sets. So that's why if you did want to trade or purchase any of these, you can just contact me through my email. We can work something out more than likely. Sharpedo, probably one of the more expensive grades of the set. Got a Latios Gold Star Mint 9. Just put that one there. And then there was a Rayquaza Gold Star, however, it was in poor condition, so it pulled the very good 3 grade. So for this video, I'm going to end right there. My battery's starting to look a little bit lower. I have one. And then two more boxes left to go through. I will upload those hopefully within the next week or so. In the meantime, I'm going to start listing these items on eBay. You can look for them there. Of course, if you want to, you can email me. And then we can work out a slightly lower price or a discounted invoice for PayPal. Uh, if you see something there that you want. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed the PSA returns. I should have many cards still coming any day now from PSA. And I'll try to keep these uploads coming as soon as I get the cards in. Thanks.